in this video we are going to discuss the concept of naming cells and creating named ranges named cells and named ranges are used for referencing a particular cell or a group of cells so by default if you go to any cell the name of the cell is given in this name box and the name of the cell is c24 that is the column name and the row number but this is the default name you can assign any name of your choice to any cell on this worksheet so to this c24 cell if i want to assign the name day i can just go here and rename it to day now if i click this cell you will see that the name of the cell is day now once we have assigned a name to this cell we can call this cell by its name anywhere so if you want to get the value in the c24 cell you can just write is equal to day and hit enter you will see that whatever value is in the cell named day that value will be shown here so, so this is similar to calling any cell by its name we can also write is equal to b24 to get the value in the cell b24 so instead of using the default name we can use the name that we have assigned to any cell we can do the same thing for a range of cells also so for example if i select the range from d5 to d21 this range of values is representing whether vegetables were bought on a particular day or not so if i want to assign a name say vegetables to this range i can select this entire range go to the name box and give it a name vegetables now whenever you will select this entire name range you will see that it has the name vegetables there are two reasons why we assign name to a range one is if you want to come back to this range multiple times to look at it we can do this using this named range the point is when we assigned a name to this range that name can be seen in the drop box here so whenever i click on vegetables here the entire range will be highlighted even if i am on a different sheet and i am working on something else i can come back to the vegetable cells just by clicking on the name so if you have to revisit that particular data multiple times you can just assign a name to that data and whenever you want to come back to it you can just select it from the drop down of the name box the second reason is you can use that name in formulas to reference this entire range so for example if i want to sum the number of times we sold vegetables that is i want to sum all the values in this selected range of cells i can use the sum formula and within brackets here i need to specify the range of cells that i want to add instead of writing d5 to d21 i can simply input the name that is vegetables this is the name for this entire range of cells and i can press enter this is similar to writing sum and selecting this entire range and in that scenario also we get the same result so the two reasons why we use name ranges one is if you want to revisit the data again and again we can create a name and we can select that name from the name box and secondly we can use the assigned name to reference that particular range of cells in our formulas now the first way we discuss to assign name to ranges that is by selecting the entire range 
and then by going to the name box and giving it a name that is the simple way there is one more way which gives us a lot of flexibility for that we have to go to the formulas tab in the formulas tab there is an entire section on names you can see a big icon for name manager and there are other smaller icons for different other purposes if you open the name manager you'll see the list of all the names that you have assigned so we assigned a name day to one of the cells it is right now containing the value monday and it refers to the cell c24 in the sheet named ranges similarly we assigned a name vegetables to cells d5 to d21 in this sheet here you can also see three options one is for creating new names other is to edit the names that you have already created and the third option is to delete the names that you have created we'll see how to create a new name from this method also let's click on new let's first give the name of the range let's say baby in the scope you have to mention where you are going to use this named range if you select workbook this named range will work on any sheet in this workbook if you select this particular sheet say named ranges or sheet 1 this named range will work only in that particular sheet you can mention comments also the last part is the most important where we have to mention what are the range of cells it refers to here we will select e5 to e21 now we'll click okay and you can see that a new name is added baby and it is referring to range e5 to e21 we can close this and if i go to the drop down i can select on baby and it will highlight all the cells in this range now if we want to assign name to all columns of a table if we do it one by one it may take us a lot of time so for example here in this table i have eight columns if i wanted to assign names to these eight columns one by one i have to again select the range of one column and then give it a name instead of that there is a shortcut of doing it we first select all the columns along with their headers in the headers we want names once we select this part we go to create from selection option and here we select that in the top row we have the name values what this will do is for each column it will create a new named range and the header of that column will be used to assign that particular name so f5 to f21 will have the name fruit g5 to g21 will have the name milk so let's click on okay and let us open the name manager once again to see that all these four have been created fruit milk meat and dvds and you can check the reference part also dvds refer to h5 to h21 fruit refers to f5 to f21 just keep in mind that when you are giving name through this method there should be no space in the header so this transaction space hash will not work you have to remove this space and after that you can use it to name that particular range of cells so this is how we assign name to a single cell or a range of cells and we use the assign name to go back to that particular cell or range of cells or 
यूज इट इन फॉर्मूला टू डू कैलकुलेशन ऑन दोज रेंज ऑफ सेल्स